All right, so I'm going to show you a little trick I learned to um, get your Valvetronic unit to manually move to max lift. Um, I recently had an issue where my car uh, would not start, and I uh, read the ECU and or the DME, and I found some codes for the Valvetronic unit. And I wasn't getting any clicking. I wasn't getting any of those noises. It just seemed like one day the electronic motor that comes through the top of the valve cover here, uh, it, it burned out. So it wasn't able to turn the eccentric shaft anymore, and the car was sitting at minimum lift. So um, there just wasn't enough airflow to keep the car running. So here's a little tip for how you can set that eccentric shaft, um, which preloads the springs, which then gives you more lift. You can set it to max lift manually. And to do this, what, what I did here was I, I cut, um, I drilled a little hole through this, um, there's usually like a gasket here that seals the, the stem of the Valtronic unit so oil doesn't come out. But let me see if I can get this plug to come out. Um, what, anyway, what I did was I drilled through my valve cover right in between this screw and in between the gasket um, seat. And what that allowed me to do is drop an Allen key down through this hole. And you can see, again, you can see the gasket maker I put um, over the hole because you don't want any vacuum leaks. Um, so I plugged that hole after the fact with some, some uh, gasket maker. Um, so I dropped an Allen key through this hole. And now I'm going to show you what that does. You have to be very careful. You don't want, your, when you're drilling through here, you don't want to... Um, Go in crooked and and um, end up eating into this saddle or this opening, and you don't want to end up drilling into this um, the seat for the the bolt here. So you want to make sure you keep your your um, drill bit very straight and centered, and then slowly step up the size of the drill bit um, one size at a time until you get all the way through, and um, you can drop that Allen key through. Okay, so now let me show you what this is doing. So here we've got the valve cover removed. And what we're looking at is right where I would have dropped this Allen key through the top of the valve cover. And you want to be able to drop this Allen key. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. But basically what Valvetronic is doing and this shaft this eccentric shift is that Valtronic very quickly moves this electronic motor, which turns the worm gear, which turns the gear on the eccentric shift. So this worm, that silver worm drive gear is turning very fast. You know, Let's see, it. it's hard to see it um, moving, but you get the idea. So as this shift spins, Basically, just like a cam, there's lobes on the eccentric shaft, which are pushing on intermediate levers. So instead of like a traditional rocker arm, um, you've got an intermediate lever, this, this lever right here. So this is the, the support, the eccentric shift, um, the intermediate lever ledge or support. This is the intermediate lever. And you can see there's a roller, um, there's a roller at the end of the arm it moves on that support and then it rocks the arm to push the valve or the valve spring down so when this eccentric shaft spins to max lift and this eccentric shaft goes this gear goes up these lobes move to max lift see there's a they're not round they're oval which pushes on that lever you know, gives it more of a fulcrum point, uh, more leverage. So it pushes on this lever, and you essentially get more more preload on that spring. So when the intake cam rotates, now you've got um, more lift. Because there's only so much lift you get out of the lobes on the intake cam. So what we've done is drill the hole through the valve cover to drop this Allen key through so that we can manually rotate the eccentric shaft to max lift. So we're going to go in a clockwise fashion. And you see, you see this is spring loaded. Like I said, all you're doing here is preloading the valve springs. Um, 
So as I move this, rotate this Allen key clockwise and move toward max lift, you can see the gear coming up um, barely because of the lighting, but you can see the gear is now higher and higher. And, and this happens in, in milliseconds when the car is operating. But, yep, and you see what just happened there? Um, if you let go of this Allen key, and I'm not going to keep going because I'm trying to record, and I just want to get you guys the concept so you can do this yourself. But you drop the Allen key through, you rotate it clockwise, maybe like 10, 15 turns it takes to get all the way to max lift. And then there's a flat spot on this lobe. So it should sit there at max lift when you finally get there. You won't have to worry about holding this anymore. But until you get to max lift, you do not want to let go because that spring, that tension, it's going to, this eccentric shaft will whip back. This eccentric shaft is going to whip back to minimum lift. And there's stoppers here. And that's what the computer's doing. When, every time you turn on the car, the car, this stop hits this. There's a, there's a stopper that sits in here. And every time you start your car, the, the computer runs very quickly the eccentric shaft from minimum to maximum, where it hits that stopper and then hits the stopper on the maximum side. So if you let this tension go, you can end up snapping this stopper off and then you're screwed. Then you have to take the valve cover off you have to replace the shaft and it's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be easy. But what your goal here is, is to set this all the way to max lift. Let it sit there. Plug up that hole you just made. And then unplug the eccentric motor. Do not plug it back in. The car will stay at max lift now. It'll control airflow with the throttle valve. And it's going to run just fine. Might idle a little funky because you're at max lift at idle. Um, might need a little bit of tuning for that. But I ran my car for months like that, almost a year, and didn't have any issues. So hopefully this helps someone out. Hopefully this gives you the idea of what exactly you're doing here by, by doing this. And um, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions.